latest state crop progress report rates 72 percent of Nebraska soybeans in good to excellent condition with 10 percent dropping leaves with harvest approaching. We talked with UNL Extension educator Gary Zobeck this week to discuss finding the optimum time to harvest soybeans. A few years ago, UNL collected harvest data that showed many soybean growers were combining beans outside the ideal moisture of 13 percent. Gary says if beans are selling for $10 a bushel and yielding 75 bushels per acre at that best 13 percent moisture, harvesting at 9 percent would result in a loss of about $33 per acre. Additionally, shatter losses when beans are dry can add up. Four to five beans on the ground per square foot can drop yield by a bushel per acre. We sat down with Gary Tuesday morning here at the show and talked about why the timing of soybean harvest can matter so much. It's important that you try and harvest your soybeans at 13% uh, moisture because if you harvest them when they're 8 or 9% moisture, you're not selling as much water uh, and so you're losing yield. What did you find from the data? You've done studies on this to determine how farmers are selling their beans. What did you see? Well. We had producers several years ago go through and give us their way or scale tickets for the soybeans they sold. About 50% of them uh, sold uh, their beans at uh, 10 or 11% moisture. And so uh, each load that they were selling, they were losing between uh, 1 to 2% of the potential yield. Were any producers over that optimum 13%? We had a few. Uh, that were at 14 and maybe a one or two at 15, they lost a little bit because of the penalty, but uh, selling beans at 8%, you're gonna lose more than selling them at 13 or 14. So it'd be really, really hard to get all your beans out at 13% moisture. What can you do to at least try to do that? Well, that is a, a tough. I think producers probably get tired of us talking about <laughs> uh, getting those beans harvested because within a day or two, they can drop to 2% two, 2 yeah. or more. Even during the day, they can go ahead and do that. So uh, be timely, uh, be sure and uh, check uh, the beans. Even though they may have a few leaves on, they still may be close to that 13%. And so try and do that. Spread out your uh, planting dates a little bit and maturities. Don't plant all one maturity because it's gonna all be ready. Uh, so this year it's too late for doing that, yeah. but for uh, future years, it's something you wanna go ahead and do. Uh, adjust the combine too. Uh, you know, a lot of times we say, pull the throttle back a little bit, just slow down. Uh, and start early. You said you might have to differentiate, you know, mornings from afternoons and just change how you harvest throughout the day. That's exactly right. So uh, it's important that, uh, you know, you get out there on a timely basis. They're going to uh, wet up a little bit as the dew comes in. And so, uh, you know, there's ways to go ahead and do that. What about shattering? How much of a problem can that be? That can be a problem. You're going to lose additional bushels. Uh, if they're extremely dry. And if we get rain and then dry, rain and dry, it increases the chances of shattering. So leaving them out there, waiting for them to get a little bit wet because of rain or something like that, probably isn't gonna work too well. That might mean waiting then on a hot afternoon? Yes, <laughs> they, you know, you can go ahead and do that, but the more times the beans get wet and dry, you're gonna increase your sh shattering losses. So as we approach harvest, Gary, the take home message is? Well, be sure and be ready to start a little early. Even though the beans may not look like uh, they're ready, uh, start when they're at 14 or, or that uh, moisture. We'll link to more resources on soybean harvest on the Market Journal website.